Campaign Zero, an organization that grew out of the Black Lives Matter movement, has launched an online interactive tool uh, to help citizens keep tab of proposed legislation that could impact their civil rights. It's called OurStates.org, and it follows state and local governments to see what bills lawmakers have introduced. The issues of most concern, immigration, policing and protesting, reproductive justice, voting rights, LGBTQ equality, and economic justice. The site also offers offers information on how to mobilize to fight for or against a bill. Joining us via FaceTime from New York is Samuel Sinyangwe, the co-founder of Campaign Zero, as well as co-developer of Our State. Samuel, uh, first and foremost, you're very much a, a data guy. Uh, and so uh, why did you feel this was critically important? Was it, was this a missing piece of the grassroots organizing? I think absolutely. So much of our attention since the election has been focused on, rightly so, on stopping what Trump is trying to do in Congress. Uh, and that's been successful. You've seen people turning out in town halls, flooding the, uh, the phone lines of uh, members of Congress. Uh, but what we noticed was that so much was actually happening at the state level that will also impact communities. And there, this was getting a lot less attention and people were not uh, engaging in state level ac advocacy at the same level. And so what we wanted to do was build a platform to help empower them to do just that. Uh, and, and with this, and so um, how are you gathering the information that's going into this particular site? Uh, the, wh how, how are you able to track all these different bills? So each state has its own website that has uh, the types of bills that, it's, that have been proposed, the status of those bills, uh, and a description of those bills. What we do is comb through each state's database, find the bills relevant to categories that impact communities, categories like uh, voting rights or voter suppression measures, uh, policing and protest and immigration uh, and put them in one place and help visualize them so that communities have it in one place where they can actually uh, see what's happening in their state so that they can be more informed and engaged more effectively. Now, does the site also give you alerts in terms of uh, when the bill, let's say, moves out of committee uh, and then goes to the floor uh, or goes back to another committee? Uh, how is it able to track that legislation? So on the site, you can sign up, and once you've signed up, what we will do is then send you updates just like that, uh, relevant to your state, opportunities that you can take action, and also involve you in some of the work of tracking legislation in your own community. And, you know, and look, the reason I think this is great is because, um, you know, I've complained for years when it comes to the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. Uh, that folks come to D.C., they have all of these uh, think tanks, they have all of these uh, brain trusts, uh, but the issues we're talking about, if you attend it, you're not able to see what's happening. And, and I've long argued and I've said to them, you need to be able to keep folks informed about this bill, this bill, this bill, to know what's going on. And also, so the other question I have for you, do you also provide, let's say, if there's a, if there's a committee hearing, uh, the day, time, and location, so just in case you want to organize and mobilize people to be able to attend that hearing? Uh, so what we're working on now is collecting that type of data so we can send even more personalized updates relevant to particular bills. So what you'll see in the coming weeks is a tool whereby you can sign up, say what uh, issue you're interested in, and we will provide you those types of updates relevant to the bills in your state uh, that coincide with that issue. It's absolutely important that you show up to committee meetings. Uh, and on the website, there's some guidance about how to engage your legislators and how to, how to engage in figuring out when those committee meetings are and what to say when you testify. All right, then. Uh, Samuel Singarway, we certainly appreciate it, man. Again, uh, ourstates.org. Good luck with it. A peaceful protest turned deadly. 37 year old black man was shot and killed by Baton Rouge police. His hands are in the air, and you still get shot by the cops. Oh, my God, please don't tell me he's dead. We're not going to let hate define us. Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. We will keep focus on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.